What's up guys, JB2017 here, and today I'm going to show you how to start arena battles in the Wasteland Workshop DLC. This new feature allows you to create your very own Wasteland Fight Club among settlers, companions, and even robots from the Automatron DLC. You can even place cages inside of your arenas and have creatures battle it out. You can orchestrate these really awesome fights. So in this video, we're going to walk through how to set up arena battles step by step, and I hope I can answer a lot of your questions along the way. First things first, you need to build an arena, some place where your fighters are going to fight each other, and it doesn't have to be some legit coliseum. You can use any materials you want as well. It doesn't have to be steel and concrete like I used, but it does need to be closed off or else it causes some problems with the battles. Just trust me, you want to have it closed off. If you want spectators to be able to watch your fights, you will need some sort of seating along the side so they can watch the arena battles. And you can see I've got the benches all the way around circling my cage. And if your seating is elevated like mine is, you will need some sort of staircase case in order for the settlers to get up there because most of the time they won't just teleport up there you will need to kind of guide them via some kind of staircase and we'll talk about how to get those spectators in their seats in just a little bit here but let's continue with the arena building once you've actually built your cage area with the seating now it's time to place down some arena platforms and assign some teams so you have two options for platforms a red team and a blue team and you can assign whoever is fighting just like you assign settlers to a job so you just go up to them in workshop mode hover over them click on them and then click on the actual platform in order to assign them to their team unfortunately Bethesda didn't make it too easy to make sure that your combatants go into their specific area I had to hunt down Preston and kind of herd him like a cow to his cage because he wouldn't stay there and I think a good thing to keep in mind is for your first combatant go ahead and assign them to their platform first so they'll kind of kind of you know veer towards where they're supposed to go but then also you'll need to use the you know go up and highlight them click enter to command them and then click on a specific location inside of the cage to make sure they actually get in and sometimes they'll get caught on the side of the cage like on the door it's really frustrating to work with but with a little bit of patience you can get them where they need to be kind of moving back for a second when you're creating kind of your designated combatant areas you want to make sure that your combatants can't see each other that's on the tooltip when you first place down a platform it recommends to use power doors and that's something that I recommend you guys use as well so you can tell I'm kind of making a cage within a cage using some of the walls and also a power door right here which will need one power so I recommend making a separate generator for that that you can just switch on and off via a switch or you can just go up to the generator and you know click it to activate it on and off and another reason this is so helpful is that once you're able to guide your combatants into their specific area you can close the power door and make sure they don't leave but be careful if you wait or pass the time in some way leave and come back they might glitch out of the arena if they're not completely secure so do watch out for that you can really replicate this same method on the other side that's how I did it but really it's up to you guys how you want to place your arena platforms just try to make sure that the combatants can't see each other it makes things a lot easier and of course as you can tell my process is capturing one and then creating the other platform and capturing the other just making sure that they can't see each other because that really kind of screws things up as you watch me build the red team platform I wanted to circle back and talk more about assigning teams because there are are some specific unspoken unwritten rules that the game doesn't tell you about when you're assigning teams certain things you can assign to a team certain things you can't so let's go over that to make this easier to explain, I'm going to split the combatants into friendlies and non-friendlies. So the friendlies, when I refer to that, that's settlers, companions, or robots. And non-friendlies are anything else, basically creatures you can capture out in the world or exceptions to, you know, the beta wave emitter like gunners, raiders, and super mutants. None of those will respond to the beta wave emitter. Those are the non-friendlies. Out of these two groups, the only group that you can assign to a team onto a platform are the friendlies. So your settlers, companions, and your robots from automatron. Those are the the only ones you can go up to in workshop mode and click on then run over to a platform and assign that means if you orchestrate a battle between friendlies you have to assign them to their platforms and that's how that works and you really need to be mindful of the whole you know no eye contact rule they need to be behind these cages and for the second one that you lure into the red cage you just need to make sure that they're not assigned to that red cage until they're in their cage so this is kind of it's really nuanced it's hard to work with and once you guys actually try it out you'll know what I mean now let's talk about these non-friendlies. So for the most part, these are things that you're going to capture in cages. So these do not function like the friendlies, meaning you can't go up to non-friendlies from cages, creatures, anything like that, and actually assign them to a platform. It just doesn't work like that. The game doesn't give you that option. So let's go through a scenario, and I actually have this on screen. We've got a fight between a non-friendly. It's a rad stag that I have captured in a cage, and Preston, who's already in the arena and assigned to the blue team. So obviously, Preston needs an arena platform assigned 
assignment. He already has it, but this Radstag doesn't because it's already a creature and you can't do that anyways, like we just explained. As you can see, the HUD pops up and says unassigned for the Radstag Doe, but when you click on it and then try and click on this platform, all it does is pick up the platform. So it's not like you can actually assign these creatures to a certain location like that. Now, ideally, I would have thrown the switch and let Preston loose and would have attacked the Doe. That's how it's supposed to work, but I just, you know, slept or did something to pass the time and Preston glitched. I don't know where he went, but now he's here. He clearly wasn't there before and he's attacking this doe. So just to tell you exactly what's going on here, if you want a friendly to attack a non-friendly, you just have to make sure that the friendly is attached and assigned to a platform and then you unleash the non-friendly inside of the cage. As long as you've got that beta wave emitter, then you know, you've got your setup fight right there. Now let's say you've got a fight between two non-friendlies. You don't even need the arena platforms and it's not even an arena battle. You can still act like it is, but if you're unleashing unleashing two, you know, caged creatures that are both docile, automatically if they're not the same creature, they're going to attack each other. So non-friendly versus non-friendly is pretty simple. You just need to make sure they're in one location. You don't even need the arena platforms. Just unleash them against each other. So let's go ahead and recap all the different fighting combinations. First, you have friendly versus friendly. You need two different platforms. You need to assign each friendly to each one and they will fight each other. Next, you have friendly versus non-friendly. You only need one arena platform for the one friendly. And then of course, in order to initiate the fight, you just unleash the cage and then make sure the you know friendly can see that caged creature and they will fight each other. Then finally, the non-friendly versus non-friendly, you need no arena platforms whatsoever. Just unleash the cages and they will fight each other. Now that you know how to set up arena battles, let's talk about gathering spectators. And you know, you'll need places for the spectators to sit. We talked about that earlier, but also you need this new item called the quitting time siren. It's got the material requirements and a one power requirement. So I recommend that you guys make a separate generator just for that in order to power this thing or, you know, connect it to whatever power network. Just don't connect it to cages or anything like that because that can really mess up stuff. So once you've got this thing powered up, it's very simple. All you have to do is turn it on and anyone it seems like within a certain reasonable radius will stop working and then it seems like they come to where the quitting time siren is you know and i haven't put it on the other side of the settlement to kind of test this but there are so many different places to sit around my settlement here that it makes sense if you put the quitting time siren near the arena they come towards it that's just my experience and what i found to happen within my settlement of course there's unlimited settlement you know combinations and you know different variations and setups you can do but this just seemed to work for me so so for you guys, I would say set your quitting time siren near your arena and then turn it on. Doesn't matter where people are, they will come towards you and just sit on these seats. As long as that green light is on, they will stop working and spectate your arena battle. But in hindsight, I totally did this in the wrong order. I recommend that you guys fill your seats with spectators before you start assigning people into a battle. Because number one, these spectators will stay here until you turn off the quitting time siren. They will stay here no matter what. They won't wander around it's actually pretty it's like one of the only things that works perfectly in this dlc but where i'm going with this is you should definitely fill those seats first and then assign your combatants into their respective you know kind of categories because sometimes you will need to sit on a bench and wait and if you wait that'll pass the time and if your arena is not secured and your cages are not secured sometimes your combatants will wander out of their cages you don't know where they're going and on and on and on so i would fill your seats before you start assigning combatants to make it easier as you can tell, it's very effective to just wait one hour. All of my settlers came and sat down to watch this fight. So if you've got a large sprawling settlement, Sanctuary is pretty large, then waiting just an hour can get everyone there instead of waiting like five minutes for everyone to get in their places. And you know, if you do this before you assign your combatants, so you don't have to worry about them wandering out of their cages. So that's all I have to share about setting up arenas and orchestrating these arena battles. And guys, if I'm going to be completely honest, I'm not impressed with the way this system works. It seems arbitrarily difficult. And I think they could have added another item in here to you know ensure that things work easier and I think that's just a simple item that would have you know cued the start of the battle because the fact that your combatants can't see each other if you're doing a friendly versus friendly fight is really frustrating to work with you have to construct these arenas in certain ways to accommodate that really arbitrary and random doesn't make sense kind of restriction there so I don't know what they were thinking with that I do enjoy the system you know once it's working it just takes a while to get everything working Anyways, let me know what you guys think about cages and any plans you have with, you know, setting up arena battles like having Deathclaw's sick Mercy or sorry, sicking Deathclaw's on Marcy Long or Preston, for example. Those are great kind of targets to, you know, kind of torture within your arenas. Let me know what you guys are doing in the comments section below. 
All right, guys, today I shared everything you need to know about starting your own arena battles in Wasteland Workshop DLC for Fallout 4. And next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more survival mode coverage, Wasteland Workshop DLC, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.